see my name up in lights and I am like me. What's up YouTube, Ninetoes here, and today I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look on what does it take to record your PlayStation 3 gameplay if you're using an Apple Macintosh. I'm a fanboy myself, been using Apple products for many years. A lot of the information that is out there is a little more geared towards the Windows guys. So us um, Macintosh folks are kind of left in the wind a little bit, if you will. The purpose of this video is to kind of give you some hints, tips, and tricks on what is needed in order to capture your own gameplay, uh, edit it, and then be able to upload it to sites like YouTube here uh, so that you can obviously share your videos uh, with an audience. First and foremost, you're going to need the Hapog HD PVR. Uh, this piece of equipment here is what is going to record your gameplay. However, it is going to require a computer, in other words, obviously your Mac, uh, in order to actually record it. It does not feature an internal hard drive for it to you know, record um, your, your, uh, your capture. With that said, you're also going to need an additional piece of software uh, that is not included in the box uh, for us Mac guys. So I'm using the um, HD PVR capture software that uh, Hapog support site recommends. And you're going to see uh, here I'm using it live as a matter of fact right before you. My settings are to the max. You're also going to see that I'm using the Toslink digital optical audio link as well too. Uh, for 5.1 uh, digital surround, it's not necessary because the component cables have the capability to record in 2.1 stereo. So again, it's just something that I did because that's what I want to obviously share with my viewers. And once you have that, you'll be able to record any game that you do have uh, and record as gameplay and share and edit and, and what have you for your future uh, subscribers and your future YouTube view count um, and, and of course you know share whatever message that you want to convey to uh, uh, to the world if you will so those are the fundamentals that you're going to need uh, in additional in addition rather to one last piece of equipment and that's the uh, Sony PlayStation a component cable again not included with the PVR uh, there is a cable that goes from the PVR to the back of the TV but from the PlayStation to the PVR completely separate animal so that's an additional purchase that you'll also need to make so there is your initial upfront monetary investment into becoming the next YouTube director or producer of, of content um, and these are the, the items that it'll take. It's going to take a little bit of money. But now let's flip over to the other side of the coin where it's going to also now require you time. Uh, because once you have captured all of this, you're going to now need to edit your your uh, your feature video as well too. And this is no easy feat. If, if you've ever watched a three minute video, four minute video and thought it sucked, this is going to give you a completely new perspective because it, it will literally take you hours to produce a silly, simple three or four minute video. Uh, and you'll see, especially de depending on how intricate you want to get. Uh, now, this is where I'm going to have to kind of leave you on your own uh, because editing is a completely different beast. It, there, there is a hard and a fast rule to certain aspects of it. Flip side of the coin is the majority of it, you got to remember, is an artistry. It's like a palette. You have to paint a picture and, you know, you, you, you have to be able to... Uh, have the skill and the knowledge, if you will, to be able to, you know, sort a timeline and uh, convey your message or your video to your uh, your future audience. So with that said, you know, you can use iMovie, especially if you're using Snow Leopard or Lion. Uh, likely it already came with great piece of software, very basic. Uh, however, once you're ready to step it up and kind of join the the next step or next rank in YouTube -dom, um, you know, they're using professional quality software. Um, here I'm using Final Cut Pro 10, especially since it's uh, been, you know, dropped down in price. It's a great piece of software, despite what other people are saying on the internet. I'm a big fan. I like it. I enjoy it. It's, it's still, it's still easy enough. Uh, in my opinion, but then again, I'm a, I'm a techno savvy kind of a person. Uh, for other people, it's very confusing and, and looks like, oh my God, it's inundating. So, uh, but again, it's it is. I'm going to be very upfront and honest with you. A lot of this is touch and feel, and it's it's going to require a little bit of knowledge, especially if you know some graphic uh, design uh, fundamentals. So, once you have all that down, however, it's a joy to actually make videos as I, as you're playing your your favorite games and recording. Uh, you'll be able to now. Uh, um, 
show off to the world number one what is it that you can obviously do when you're playing your favorite games but also you know share uh, you know tips and tricks and things like that in the future or anything else if you've got a commentary or whatnot so um, here I'm playing Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam and um, as you can probably tell I also had to color correct uh, the video as well too so you know because the actual game does not look like this but with that said I am going to leave you with this gameplay uh, I will say this before I do go I will answer uh, intelligent questions and what I mean by intelligent is uh, if it's the where did you get or how much is that kind of stuff if you can mouth it and type it into a comment box put that into a Google search box instead and get that answer before putting it into uh, my comment box or anybody else's because those are silly questions and, and you know it um, but if they're intelligent I, I, I can help uh, to an extent um, I'm, I'm not the shell answer guy uh, you know I'm not a technical support but uh, I will aid and assist on some very basic stuff so hope this inspires you hope this video was was helpful to any one of you and uh, to any future uh, YouTube producers looking forward to maybe you know seeing your videos in the future and uh, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you around next time guys thanks for watching